Alright guys, so this is another episode of Let's Play 7 Days to Die. In the last episode, uh, we ended it by basically basically being blown up. And nighttime is coming upon us and we need to get all the way to our backpack and get our stuff before night falls and then hopefully make it all the way back. So uh, that's why we're off to such a fast start right now. So we're just going to make a run for it and hopefully we can get to where our backpack is. Uh, without running into anything too dangerous and uh, without uh, taking too much time and having nightfall on top of us. Uh, both of those situations would be very, very bad right now. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just going to ignore all slow-moving zombies. Uh, hopefully we don't run into any animals or zombie dogs or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just... Keep going this way. I don't see anything. I think we're okay for now. We're out of stamina. Man, we worked so hard to get our uh, wellness up too, man. We were up to 94 and then we go and get blown up and now we're back down into the 80s. We'll never make progress on that front if we keep dying so much. I say we, I mean I. All right, we're almost there. All right, where is it, where is it? It's on the other side of this. Let's take a wide route around it to not accidentally step on another mine. Okay, 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 okay. Where is it? Okay, I see it. Alright, there's a mine there. To the left. Alright, we got it all back. Alright, now we just need to sprint back. Oh, there's a lot of crawlers. Still keep it wide. See, there's still mines right there, I can see. I think we're in the clear of the mines at least. We may make it back in plenty of time, which is good. All right, all right, all right, all right. How's this doing? All right, all of our iron is smelted at the very least. Let's uh, go ahead and put in the lead and stuff. So we want to do, where to go? Put the lead and the brass in there and have it smelt down. Uh, we just need iron. I don't know. Let's get 400 iron. <coughs> Alright. What? Alright, we have plenty of iron right there. That's good. How much wood do we have? 900. No wood in there. Am I hearing something? Alright, the first thing we're going to do is take our stone axe and we're going to fortify the door as high as it'll go. Alright, that's all we got. So let's just start on the structure. So I'm going to go around and do this right here. Just upgrade slowly all of our structure. And then I will uh, see you guys when that is done. Alright, so I went around and did just the bottom two levels and upgraded it with the uh, wood. Uh, I'm going to focus on just the bottom two uh, just because that's the uh, levels that the zombies will have immediate uh, access to and be able to damage first. And so we'll focus on fortifying that. And then if we have extra resources or uh, have time to fortify the rest, we will. And so I just wanted to show you, you know, that was using wood, but now we have this iron in here, and so we'll come up, and the next level is uh, basically scrap iron, and then after that, it's adding uh, that, and then I think, yeah, and that's the final level. So now the only improvement we can make to this block is to use concrete, but that's uh, what we're going to use the iron for. And so I'm just going to go around and fortify as much as I can 
um, around the bottom two uh, layers of our wall. And when that's done, I'll see you. Alright, so it's almost morning and I've gotten some of it done, uh, a lot of the lower two levels done. I just got a couple or a few more blocks right here. Um, I did the wood all the way up. Uh, of course, I'm going up and around the door. Um, <laughs> that's just something I've always done. And it's daytime! Yay! Uh, so, uh, yeah, so you can see that the wood's been upgraded. I have upgraded the hatch as far as it'll go. It's just, uh, you know, using the uh, iron. And I did, uh, I upgraded this with wood. And then I went around the perimeter of the top with upgrading it with wood. And so now, we really got to crank out some uh, supply gathering. So we got to chop down a bunch of trees and mine a whole bunch of rocks. So that's really what I'm going to be doing for most of this day. So uh, I guess I'll see y'all when something interesting happens. Because I'm not going to make y'all watch me just beat rocks to death. Alright, so it's almost night time, so I'm just going to head back to base real quick, and we're going to go over kind of what we got over the course of uh, all of that, you know, basically grinding. Uh, so, shut the door. Uh, so, one thing that I got was a lot of iron, uh, and I'm basically creating a lot of iron right now. Let me get this fire going again. It needs to be at least 23 minutes. Yeah. So I'm turn that on. So I'm basically creating a lot of iron. I've put a lot of iron into the uh, forge. Uh, got a lot of rocks. You can see 3,000 rocks. Got a lot of wood, but I turned a lot of that wood into these wood spikes that we're going to put around the base uh, right before the blood moon falls. And so that's the bulk of what the hell's going on with the floor right here. Oh, it's snowing. Huh. I didn't know it would snow uh, in the green biome. That is interesting. Shut that door, I guess. Well, then, how about that? Didn't realize that would happen. Uh, so what do we need to do real quick? Well, we can clear our inventory. We can put this up, this and this up. Oh yeah. Put this over here. Smelt that. Uh, we put that up, put that up. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's see, we can put these eggs into here. We're gonna have to do some more hunting r real soon. Um, cause we're running low on meat. We need to start planting our crops, but I'm gonna wait till after day seven. Probably, I don't know, day five-ish we'll probably start planting, or I say day five, so that'd be like day 12. Is what I'm thinking about. Cause I like to take the first couple days after a blood moon to actually go and do a lot of exploring and looting cause we have a lot of time to do that. Uh, we really need to find a wrench. Uh, so we can disassemble cars and get small engines and batteries Because we're really going to need to uh, create a cement mixer so we can start making cement So uh, night's about to fall and it's about to be day 7 Just 24 hours until we have the blood moon um, I hope we survive I've turned up, I turned up the zombie count a lot for the blood moon uh, So let's just we'll have to wait and see what happens But uh, so that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like always, if you did enjoy it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.